I'm Dr. James Cheesebro, and I'm from University of Massachusetts in Worcester. And I discuss today treatment of chest pain in the emergency department and the potential benefit of high sensitivity troponin. Now, chest pain evaluation, it's critical to get a good history to know is it ischemic chest pain and to get a physical exam to look at murmurs or possible heart failure and to look at the ECG to look for ST segment changes since this is a large risk uh, documenting uh, in the patient uh, of the future problems. And the patient is divided into a high risk of someone who has uh, ST segment changes during chest pain or transiently uh, as they're observed, and two-thirds of uh, ST changes occur without chest pain, and uh, then also to look for elevated enzymes. And those who are intermediate risk uh, then are exercised on the treadmill. That's about two-thirds of chest pain patients. The high risk go to the cath lab right away. And those who have a positive stress test are then are actually high risk and need coronary angiography and possible PCI. The negative stress tests uh, are dismissed, but all of these patients who are dismissed, even the low risk, should be seen by a cardiologist within the next week because they almost all have risk factors that are out of control and need improved control to prevent future events and problems. And the high sensitivity troponin, uh, we expect will allow earlier diagnosis or rule out for the MI and thus earlier ability to go to a stress test uh, within about two hours of coming to the emergency department but this is needed to, for further evaluation in a study to document this.